Right, first video of the day. It's the 21st of August 2023. It's supposed to be not a bad day, no rain apparently. Um, just the right temperature really. I've brought water, picnic, a windshield just in case of course and a sun hat just in case. First aid kit. <coughs> Little Sony, big Kodak and a charger. Now I'm not feeling as bad about the women losing the World Cup. Yesterday they played in the final of the World Cup in Sydney and they lost 1-0. We could have got, well you can always say you nearly got a goal but we didn't so it was 1-0. It was very disappointing. Right, it's very disappointing but I don't feel as bad as I thought I would because basically it was a great achievement to get second. It was a great achievement to get second. And um, and really they were both champions. So only one got the got the trophy, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why they don't have a trophy for the run, you know, who come second really. But they got a medal. But I don't feel as bad because I think they've done the work, they've done their job. They've uh, enlightened people about women's football, big time. And Tesco's did put some World Cup stuff up really, um, which I hadn't noticed. Whether they just put them up over, over the weekend thinking we'd win, I don't know. But uh, so anyway, a day of reflection again. I've come up here to have a walk. I'm hoping to get to the trig point following the lower track across the springs and um, I sometimes come down that way sometimes so I decided not to today um, and then down across the area of Outstanding Beauty into Robara Warren Wood <sighs> then I'll go down through Shipham that's plan A anyway that's plan A I've got seven hours Right, over and out right, for a minute. Carrying on. Familiar scene now, arriving at Rowbarrow and Dalbury Warren. I haven't been up those steps for a long time. I tend to go up the other way to the hill fort and come down the other way rather than go there. But I'm going straight up. Hope it's not too boggy. I'm going straight up the lower track, skirting Dalbury Warren, which is here. Skirting Dalbury Warren, not going up these steps. So, and then I'm going to head across over the large parade walk, processional walk, I call it. And join up. Um, this could be quite a muddy. Oh, I can't see. This could be quite a muddy experience. I wasn't expecting it to be this wet. But it could be that it's just... I mean, I do know that it gets wet, but it's summer. And of course, we haven't really had a summer. We get one or two warm days. Our summer was the whole of June. That was um, hot, and then it went. July was a total dull grey washout. July was absolutely awful. That happens like every 20 years, you get a terrible July like that. August, a bit of an improvement, bit of, but not really hot, not what I call summer. And it's the 21st of August now. It's my ex-brother-in-law's birthday today, and he will be 76. 
he, he will be 76 today. Dave Cody. Yeah, we're all moving on in time. I saw him for the first time in about 15 years at a funeral of his mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, Ollie, who lived to 100 and she died a week after she was 100. I think she always wanted to get to 100 and, uh, and she was very happy and she was quite happy to go, I think. She had most of her family around her and um, I went to her funeral and her ashes are being scattered with her husband Jacks. He died 15 years ago or, f or longer, um, 15 seconds, no he died longer than that, let me see, um, 15, 18 years ago, god it's gone so fast. He died 80, I can't believe it. Yeah, Jack died 18 years ago. So, just a reminder. Reflective journal and visual diary. Just to remind people that sometimes I do have to edit if I get carried away in my thoughts and put them into verbal language. It's a place I do love. I love coming up here. It looks quite, not bleak, but it hasn't had a summer, I don't think. And although the trees are trying their best and they do love the water, of course, it's keeping them fresh. But no flowers. It's very still. I'm hoping I see a deer. I know I'll probably see horses and cows. There's a big herds that live up on the top there. Now, this is my plan today. This will be the last walk out on the air of Outstanding Beauty this year. Um, while it's still light evenings. I could have got out here earlier if I'd got the West Link. I forgot about booking that, but I didn't really know if I was going to go. I, I waited till this morning, you see, so that's the trouble with the West Link. They say you can book it and all that, but see, if you're waiting to see what the weather's doing, which is very common in England because it fluctuates, somebody, a young girl, she called it weather bipolar. I thought that was a really good description of our English weather. Bipolar. I really like that. I'm going to keep that in mind. I met her on the bus. She was uh, relying on buses to get to and fro from where she lived on the outskirts of Weston. Yeah. Yeah, so the English ladies done very well and so did the Spanish people. They deserve to win as well. I think they just had the edge on us really. They did look more fit. England didn't look, there was no smiles at all. They were very, very serious. And they looked more st stressed than usual coming out, I thought. They looked very, oh, I don't know. It was a big game for them. Well, they've tasted it now. Some of them won't be coming back because they would have been too old in footballer terms. I mean, watch uh, nearly every game. The only ones I missed is because the BBC failed to inform us. They didn't show it in the paper or in the TV pages at all clearly. And I think a lot of people missed a whole weekend of English football, unless they were watching it on their app or some other device. 
I missed, um, for example, a very important game when Germany, no, yeah, when um, the USA played Sweden, I think, and they were knocked out. Germany were knocked out. I missed that match as well. I kept a little chart which I've scanned and it'll be going on my family tree because it's a part of what's going on in my life. This is history. Okay, we never won it. But the, the ladies won it in many ways. They've opened up access for lots of young girls now. And they've opened up the minds of a lot of mis mis misogynistic men. Who will still have their stereotype reaction to anything to do with women's football. Don't forget, women's football was banned until 1971. Women weren't allowed, they were allowed to play in the wars to entertain the old men. But, um, and I can remember being a young girl wishing we could play football when I was at school. I used to be able to play in the back lane when I was a girl. We all used to muck in. But when I was at school, I wasn't allowed to play it. And um, I thought it was unfair. I, but that's when you start realising very young in your age the inequalities that we had to grow up with in the 50s. I think things were opening up because of the wars and they wanted to give people, including women, more opportunities. But it took a long time. I think it was 1991 before an England ladies team entered a World Cup competition. It's a long time when football was going for over a hundred years. Seen as a male preserve. Like lots of things. And still going on, of course, around the world. But they did give opportunities for lots of countries that really are fighting it. Um, I mean, Jamaica's got to grips with it more. Bob Marley Charity helped to, to assist them in purchasing sportswear. So, because he loved his football. And, um, yeah, there's been lots of support, lots of support. I'm very disappointed, by the way, so is a lot of people, and it hasn't done him any favours at all. <sighs> oh, Prince William came on the telly with his little girl holding a football. And um, she said, good luck to the ladies' team, and he made a few comments. But basically, somebody should have been out in Australia. Somebody of real significance. They put a bloke out that knew nothing about football. He didn't speak. You never heard him say nothing. Some MP. <sighs> they didn't send anyone out. And Prince William is something to do with the FA Association and everything. Probably the leader of it or something. Now with Spain, they sent their queen out there. She was dancing with the players. She joined in. She was so active. And hugging the players. They could have at least sent Kate out or something. It was awful for not to represent. Nobody was there for our, for our team. And we had to face... A lot of, not hostility as such, but we were outnumbered as far as the fans were concerned. <sighs> no, I think that was a re that really, really has not done them any favours, the royal family. That was a big match for us yesterday. And they couldn't even be bothered to get out there. They jet set all around the world when it suits them. If that was the men's final... They'd have the whole royal family there. I think if Prince Harry had been on the scene, he would have gone. He might have gone anyway, knowing him. He might have gone in cognito. No, that was a very, very poor decision. I think it was terrible, really. 
This was history being made. Not of men haven't won it for 57 years. I just that sums up a lot of stuff, doesn't it? No, that was bad. I, I've gone right off him. I hope he never gets to be king. No. I, I would have liked Harry to have become king, to be quite honest. I like Harry. He's just standing up for himself and you can see why now. Right, over and out for a minute. We're at Dalbury Warren looking up at the hill fort, which I did a couple months ago. Just going to turn off for a minute. Take a picture of the style.